Noodlers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Alan and it's time to hodl and have those diamond hands ready, as in this video, we are going to be exploring the exciting world of cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin billionaire, spending money like I don't care. Mining coin in my underwear, I'm gonna be a Bitcoin billionaire. Seen as many as a store of wealth, Bitcoin is scarce, so it is a deflationary currency, meaning that its buying power increases over time unlike other fiat currencies like the US dollar or the Great British Pound, where more money is being printed off, thus losing its value over time and free inflation. You've probably fallen victim to many pump and dumps lately and whales manipulating the markets. What? So when people or organizations cause the price of the coin to massively rally up, and then all of a sudden comes crashing back down. So yeah, thanks for that, Elon. Prices have been soaring for cryptos like Bitcoin, Ethereum, and especially Dogecoin. Oh, right. But crypto isn't all shit coins, not ones like Shibu Inu, Dogecoin, or even my current favorite, Cumrocket. Some of these cryptocurrencies are actually trying to solve real problems. And in this video, we'll be looking at two of these coins, seeing what their plans are to improve our precious world of gaming. I know some of you may be getting flustered by all of this crypto talk, but don't worry, I'll be talking about two altcoins in this video, meaning alternative coins to Bitcoin. It's literally that, it's not that deep. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I don't understand. Engine, or ENJ, is a massive digital cryptocurrency, at least by market capitalization. The market capitalization, or the market cap, is the value of the price of the coin times the total circulating supply. It is also decentralized, meaning the power or ownership does not reside in centralized governance like banking or government authority. This engine coin can be used to manage, exchange, trade, and distribute virtual goods. It is one of the first cryptocurrencies that allows content creators and gamers to be virtual owners. While playing online, gamers would be able to trade their assets to grow their digital wealth and their real money. That's awesome. Imagine that. Instead of having your significant other telling you to get off the games and get yourself a real job, they actually encourage you to keep playing and get that green. I'm shooting! I'm shooting! I'm shooting! I'm shooting! Engine has one of the largest online gaming communities. It has also recently partnered up with Microsoft to bring in non-fungible tokens called NFTs. Give me all your money. NFTs are units of data that are certified to be unique and not interchangeable. They can be digital images, videos, audio, and so on. The main argument against the real value of NFTs is that you could simply take a screenshot of the image rather than buy it. Of course, a picture of the Mona Lisa doesn't mean that you actually own the Mona Lisa. Say you got a cool new item or weapon off the World of Warcraft. Blizzard, if they wanted to, could suspend your account and take that special item from you, even if you spend hundreds of hours trying to earn it. With an NFT, you could own that special item outright. Besides, there will always be new games with that special new item. This means that everything you've worked so hard to get will depreciate in value over time. However, if they were to be issued as engine NFTs, it wouldn't be the case. Those special items would be transferable between games and would increase in value over time. Kind of an investment, if you think about it. I'm a brilliant businessman. This would lead to an open gaming ecosystem as opposed to the closed garden system, which essentially means linking data from one game to another. Imagine a Ready Player One situation where one weapon earned in Fortnite could then be used as a special weapon in Call of Duty. This is best showcased by the engine Metaverse, allowing numerous different worlds to be connected. This whole system aims to make the engine coin a primary currency in gaming. So instead of collecting coins to give to your Witcher or rubies to buy extra lives, you could be able to earn and collect engine coin tokens, which will also have real life monetary value. It would also allow you to buy, make, and mint special NFT items to further enhance your gaming experience. It would undoubtedly make in-game tournaments way more fun, having engine coins or rare NFT items as the grand prize. Engine already has its own secure wallet where you can store some other cryptocurrencies alongside your NFTs that has already been integrated into the Samsung Galaxy S phones. One of the best marketplaces to find, buy, or sell rare NFTs. Mother goddamn cryptocurrency. Decentraland has become a fully decentralized 3D virtual world where people can own and develop their own virtual land. Players can wander around and interact with what others have created. 
That includes everything from static land to interactive items, buildings, massive events, games, art, and so on. Decentraland, a fully immersive platform powered by the blockchain. If you want, you can buy parcels, the smallest amount of land, and place them next to each other, creating an estate. Some large areas are allocated to a specific theme and thus become a district. At the center of the map is Genesis Plaza, where you can learn more about Decentraland. In Decentraland, the world belongs to the community. This means that everyone can vote on proposals. Decentraland is governed by DAO, Decentraland Autonomous Organization. They also control the smart contracts, land and estate contracts, and even the wearables. It is an amazing place for influencers in the gaming world to sell their merchandise in the form of virtual special items and clothing. There are lots of things going on in this world already. You can send over friend requests and have encrypted friends chats, or even teleport directly to those friends. They have already partnered with Matrix to create in-game minigames with plenty of plans for future gaming experiences. So as you can see, Decentraland seems like a great alternative to reality. Since they have already partnered with huge organizations, I have high hopes for this project to succeed. If you want to get involved and start exploring, you don't even have to buy any cryptocurrencies unless you plan on gambling or purchasing NFTs. I'm really looking forward to seeing where these projects will go in the future. Being in love with the world of investing myself, I find the technologies that are coming forward really pushing the psychological limits of what we think is possible. Are you a crypto fan or not? Would you rather stay with a typical type of gaming? Well, let me know in the comments below. I really hope you like this and uh, yeah, noodle you later. Noodlers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Adol. Adol. <laughs> that's what Carolina calls me. Anyway, let's start that again. I mean, that's making bloopers. No, no, it's not. We don't even have to do that. It's anal, guys.